Come see you today from Villa Park. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Aston Villa up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. And the game begins. Conor Gallagher. Are you? Joel Ward. The ball with Jordan. Are you? Crossing possibilities. MacArthur. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Watkins. Moving into the advanced position. Ings. And space for the cross. And the ball back with Crystal Palace now. Benteke regained possession. John McGinn. Here's Danny Ings. McGinn. Ramsey has it. Gallagher. Connor Gallagher. Still passing it around with authority. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Ramsey has it. Watkins. Ings. Ings. And the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Joel Ward. It's with Milivojevic. James MacArthur. And he did well to cut it out. Douglas Luiz. Ings. Difficult to stop him. The cut back. To jump in front. Crucial tackle, brilliant. Gallagher. Now Christian Benteke. Possession lost by Palace. Ings. Ollie Watkins. Palace regaining possession. Are you? Now Christian Benteke. Well read to win possession back. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? But they dealt with the threat posed. Mitchell. Anderson. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Ollie Watkins. McGinn. Watkins. 
It's with Douglas Luiz. A real defensive commitment there. McGinn. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Wilfried Zaha. He continues his run. And Zaha has it. Douglas Luiz. It did look on for them, but not to be. Conor Gallagher. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Luka Milivojevic. Gallagher. Oh, good use of the ball. Can they forge ahead? And still danger here. And thumped away. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Making progress. Ings. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And teammates to play it to. Promising position, this. Cuts it back. Can he do it to take the lead? Untidy on the ball. Well, as you can see from the possession, there's been a little between these two teams. It's been a really tight and cagey affair. You just hope it opens up a little and that one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Poor pass under no real pressure. Ramsey has it. Well, these fans are driving their team on here, but can Villa find that winning goal? There's not long left now. Ings must take the lead here. And they do! And with so little time left, that will surely be decisive. Astonishing drama. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Consa. And here is Mings. And we've entered the final five minutes. And running through to the keeper. Showing good width here, Palace. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, being able to improvise is all part of the game, and it was close. Well, it's a great bit of skill, isn't it? He does everything right apart from hitting the target. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. So the final whistle and plenty of positives for Villa fans around the world following this victory. What did you make of it?